it is doubtful if any university could have been wet, less well prepared for this second bout. I think it's one of those kind of events that happened in the larger society that just made Larry Chalmers' job harder. To these thousands of young men and women, many of whom you know and respect, the move into Cambodia was interpreted as the precise opposite of the President's pledge to get us out of Vietnam. I doubt that I'll ever fully know the depth of their despair, yet it was there, and not just among the famous two, two or three percent of the student body. It matters little whether the four dead students were throwing rocks or whether all four deaths can be attributed to weapons issued to the National Guard. What hit our students as a double-edged blow was the fact that four students had been shot to death directly or indirectly in connection with their concern about Cambodia. I was in Chancellor Chalmers' office when he got the call that informed him of what happened to Kent State. And he was pale as a ghost, and I think that's because he knew darn good and well what that might mean for us. Just raised the intensity of our pain in lives to an absolute crescendo. And since we'd already gathered the, the, the gypsies, they weren't at Kent State in any appreciable numbers. They have been drawn in by the arson of the student union. This is probably the biggest march we had because it started up on campus, went down 15th Street. So we're marching down Iowa Street. There was police all over. The memorial march beginning in front of the student union in 10 minutes in honor of those students murdered by the National Guard in Ohio yesterday. All should please the test. thousand people walked by. Memorial of four students killed at Kent State University. They have nothing to say. They are here to As a nation wept, Lawrence followed suit, but fire was on the horizon. 